Hello everybody, it's Steve Bonesteel here with TC Vortex. We're going to be walking through the Jonesville, Michigan potential tornado picture that was shared on social media on 820 of 2019. Uh, this by far very believable. I was knocking myself saying, how did I miss it? But we're going to be walking through it here and by no means are we going to be ragging on the person who took it because even uh, from my own point of view, it was a very believable picture after going out and surveying it does appear that it was not a tornado so we're going to be breaking it down and going through it together here here's the original picture uh, you can see the object of interest there uh, right in the center of focus you've got a little bit of what looks to be like a lowering cloud base the precipitation core uh, and again this is at 5:20 p.m. looking north northeast moving eastbound on US 12 uh, very believable you see it stretching all the way down to the ground uh, taking a look at a more uh, typical structure for supercells, especially tornadic ones, you're going to have front flanking downdrafts with rain, hail, uh, followed by the wall cloud with the tornado there. And that was not quite what we had uh, with this cell. It's kind of flip flopped. Uh, it was what I would call a front flanking tornado, or at least what we would think from this picture. Uh, no tornado near the lowering the potential wall cloud. Where's the inflow? Where's the uh, leading precipitation? It just wasn't there. And this wasn't a low precipitation cell. So this picture was taken uh, right there in the center of the screen with a field of view looking probably about uh, a mile out before the road starts to go downhill. And somewhere uh, past that first line of trees is where this uh, potential tornado or structure that looked like a tornado was. Getting out on foot, though, uh, evaluating almost an entire square mile radius and then going north and then back north and east, uh, we didn't see any signs anywhere of any type of damage. The houses were fine, the structures were fine, and there really wasn't anything to note. So of course we hopped out on foot here and this is uh, approximately where the picture was taken on the other side of the road. Uh, you can see it's just a two lane highway there, uh, exact corner of where it was and then right to our northeast is going to be Wise Road but this is looking towards the tree line uh, where that tornado would have been. So digging a little bit deeper into my investigation I drove down Wise Road and here we are taking a look just past that first tree line where it appeared uh, approximately that tornado would have been. Uh, I saw no treetop damage. I, you'd always kind of watch for uh, treetop damage on all sides of the tree with the violent rotating winds. Taking a look over at the house and the barn over there, uh, the pool was intact, the camper was intact, uh, no structural damage to note, uh, nothing in the field either to really note as well. And then taking a look uh, over at this cornfield, and this is what they all pretty much looked like, standing straight up. Uh, no signs of anything being whipped around, not even straight line wind damage. Uh, there was some vegetation that was kind of knocked over, but I think it might have been from equipment uh, driving through previously. So I continued on my journey around that little uh, radius there, and I didn't see anything to note uh, further north or anywhere, really. Could tell it rained and rained pretty hard. No tree limbs were down. Uh, really, all I could tell, it looked like some weeds might have been knocked over, but... Couldn't even tell if that was from straight line winds. Uh, potentially looked like it was ran over by equipment going field to field at some point. So when you're trying to evaluate things like this, I always say go back to your own personal experience and what have you seen. So this was earlier in Colorado in the year. Uh, this is a uh, supercell that did develop a tornado. I'm looking dead west right now at what appears to be kind of a similar type structure of clouds coming down to the ground but in reality that's actually moisture and ingredients being pulled up into the cell and then rotating around but from this point of view there's nothing obstructing my view there's no trees there's no decline in elevation you can tell that it's very different than what that picture uh, that was taken yesterday actually showed so at this point, I started to ask myself, okay, what did the other storm spotters that were out and about, what did they see with their cells? And with that, Don McCracken, another chaser that I've chased with a couple times, he was out in the field and he saw a lot of low-hanging, jagged clouds with the scud bases, uh, even uh, as described at one point, a scud funnel. So it didn't seem too abnormal on the day with the conditions at play that maybe we did have these low-hanging, these scud clouds right on the surface, like uh, in the picture. So then we're going to be looking at the radar saying, okay, what happened here? But unfortunately, both the radars that we had to really look into the storm were too far away to really tell us what was happening at the service. Even when we pulled up velocity scans, uh, because DTX and DTW were down, we really didn't get a really clear picture. 
So that really takes us down to our conclusion at this point where A, not only is the structure not right, but B, there's nothing down on the surface, there's no damage, uh, there's nothing to really clue us in to say there was some type of circulation down on the surface. And then also, uh, with that, even with the radars being as far away as they were, there really isn't anything other than just saying, hey, I think there was a strong updraft. So where did this cloud that looks very scary like a tornado, where did it come from? I think... What we really get here, and this takes me back to Colorado, what you see is you basically have the moisture being pulled up into the storm, and because of how moist it was, because of how that all works, you can actually see it as if it's a cloud. And then you have the orientation of where she was taking the picture in relation to the storm itself. You don't get a clear picture of what it actually looks like, so it's going up and down in her picture, when in reality it's probably more so on a diagonal and if you were on the other side of the storm you probably would have been able to see it but because she was looking dead on it looked like it was going straight up into the sky much like you would see with a tornado and there's one other factor that really exacerbates this effect and that's the fields when you have these fields full of crops full of whatever especially on these moist days when the dew points right there you get a lot of condensation you get a lot of moisture in these fields and these storms when they're building very rapidly you're going to be picking up all of that moisture right out of that field and then it'll suddenly happen and then it can go away and then come right back and you're picking up all this moisture it's forming a cloud essentially and you see it being picked up into the sky but according to her orientation, it did not quite look what it actually should have looked like, and it looked very ominous nonetheless. So after getting down on the ground, checking things out on the surface now the day after, uh, we really do have to conclude that it was some type of scud cloud from an intense downdraft. Uh, that might have been why it looked like it was reaching down to the ground. Uh, unfortunately, with only a still photo, it's really hard to tell definitively. Or it was some type of inflow band picking up that intense moisture uh, from those fields. Uh, at 520, when the picture was taken, the cells, uh, including this one, they were all rapidly expanding, they were building, they were getting stronger, uh, so that's definitely a possibility. And then, of course, with the lack of close-range radar, it was really tough to tell until we got down there and took a look on the surface. And then, ultimately, the reason it looked as ominous as it was was because of the orientation of the photographer. When you're looking at something that is diagonal from dead on, it looks straight up and down. And I think definitely here that is what we had because there's no signs of any type of damage. We talked to the 911 director in the area. They did not have any calls for service, no damage calls, uh, really no funnel clouds or anything to note. So we really do have to say that this was not a tornado. Thanks for watching. Steve Bonesteel and TC Vortex signing off.